Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Are you awake yet? I'm not. I'm still in my fucking bathrobe. How about that? Okay. So. Where's my favorite? Lit enough. Where's my brain? I left it right here. Somewhere. Okay, there it is. Found my brain. Ah. I'm put my thinking cap on. So, gonna answer some questions. I don't know if anybody fucking commented this, but it seems kind of obvious. Um, where's my motivation to talk about God? Like, okay, what I think Christians need to do more of what Christians haven't been doing enough of is talking about God. Stop talking about politics. Stop talking about your fucking personal preferences about shit. And start talking about God. Actually be fishers of men. You know, like, be a Christian. Okay? See, Talking about God can be embarrassing, right? You don't want to witness to people because sometimes you feel like a fool. What if there's questions you don't know the answers to? Sure, it happens to a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of people don't witness because they're afraid of such things. What is faith to you? Is faith a happy thought? Is it a concept? Is it a checkbox so you can get into heaven? It doesn't work that way. What is love to you? When you love somebody, is that love good enough? Or do you have to show them? Can you just say I love you and then let the door hit him in the fucking face? Love is a verb. When you love someone, you prove it to them by showing them. Faith is a verb. And faith is your love for God and your thankfulness for your life. And faith is a verb, right? So faith needs to be acted upon. And there are not a whole lot of different confusing commandments as far as this goes. You have charity and you have testimony. And you have do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Judge not lest you be judged yourselves. And this idea of charity and testimony. Forgiveness. Don't forget forgiveness. Cannot be done. Without. You know. Two major rules that. That seems to give a fuck about anymore. But see, witnessing is the most important act of faith. It's supposed to be embarrassing. You're worried about looking like a fool. I'm in my fucking bathrobe. Grow up. 
Stop being pretentious little sniveling shit. And act like you're grateful for what God has given you. Don't be ashamed not to know something. If you don't know something, you know, I'll pray about that. And I hope I, I hope I come to an answer for you. You're putting your faith in God at that moment. And giving them a chance to see how it works in real time. Should God give you the answer? Guess what? Probably fucking will. You never tried, did you? Try it. Don't consume yourself with doubts and jinx it. Some things take mental training. If you require mental training, believe it or not, Final Fantasy can provide that. Have you ever dodged 200 lightning bolts in a row? On the game. A little flash of light, you gotta hit X before the fucking lightning hits you. 200 times, consecutively, without being hit. To obtain a celestial weapon. I've played through the game four times. And it is definitely a mental conditioning exercise. It's it's a it's a it's an endurance test gone wrong. Okay, two hundred? Are you fuck two? <sighs> if you want to just go crazy, just buy the game. Just to try to do the lightning strike. Anyway, I guess I've said what I'm wanting to say. I'm in my fucking, I can't believe I just filmed a video in my bathrobe. I already basically forgot what the hell I'm talking about. I need more coffee. Oh my God, where's my coffee? Ah, the magical coffee cup of science. Yes. Yo ho ho, and I better have some. Um. <clears throat> All right. So, this wasn't in my notes. Saturday morning, I'm kind of fucking off, but I wanted to encourage people who have gotten my last couple of messages and need some encouragement. Um. Walk. Just take a few steps. It'll happen. I guarantee it. The old reality that fucked your minds up is gone. The only thing that remains are the echoes, and it is up to you to take control of them. And it is up to you to make a difference and to resurrect Christianity itself. Don't blame the past. Don't blame entities. Don't blame institutions. Blame yourself for not having enough faith to risk embarrassing yourself for God. Subscribe. Have a good weekend, people. Peace.